Hello, thank you for checking out my video today. In today's video, I'm going to deviate a little bit from um, hardware and do a little bit of software, which is kind of the whole point of having this uh, project to begin with, is to write some low-level code and run it on actual hardware from the 1980s. So I'm going to do this in DOSBox, um, mainly so I can get the screen capture and have a nice clean image for this. But you can do this all on my regular uh, Homebrew 8088. So let's just boot up our uh, drive image here. I've, I've got MS-DOS in the drive image. Um, that way we're working with DOS instead of just DOS box. Um, I was going to do this with debug, but I'm going to do this with uh, NSAM. Uh, an assembler will be a little bit easier, a little bit cleaner. And let's go into edit. So it's just like your notepad. And uh, I did get the mouse going, so we'll use our mouse a little bit. And I like to do this all in all caps. Some people don't like to do assembly in all caps, but we'll uh, tell it that the CPU is going to be an 8086, and that way, uh, when it compiles, it compiles for 8086 and nothing else. And I'm going to do the Hello World, um, like most people do, and I'm going to do this as one of the simplest ways possible. Um, maybe if I do this video too long, I might try a couple different ways, but. Uh, what we'll do is we'll we need to set our data segment to the uh, video address. So we do that by setting our AX register and then copying that over to the data segment. And then make sure our BX register is zero. And you, you could do this other ways, uh, XOR or whatever people do, or, or to make it zero, but this is fine. And then, simple enough, we just go move to, uh, we want to do our byte. Now, in the video uh, on the screen, every other byte is a character, and the other byte is the color codes for foreground and background. And so we just want to edit the, uh, the character for now. So we'll go BX, and actually, um, if you want to do this even simpler, you could just put a, a number in here. And uh, maybe I'll do that. Let's do it that way. So we'll just go 0, 0, 0, 0. And we can actually take this one line out. We're going to try to... Now, this way may take a few more bytes, but the code is even simpler. So, And then we'll just do H. And the assembler will convert that to the ASCII character code, or uh, code for H. And then... Uh, because we're not using BX, we don't need to add, let's say I'll copy, control insert, uh, not like using notepad, but it'll work, paste, grab a couple more, copy, just want to make that so we can just, instead of typing it out every time. All right, so there's a few, we'll go two, four, six, eight, A, C, and E. Hit control C by habit. Uh, what we'll do is we'll just copy. This should be enough lines. And back to zero, so one. So we're just in the next, like so. And then we just need to change our character here, so E. See if I spell this right going down the screen. Got a few extras, so we'll just do a explanation mark like some people do. I think I spelled world right. And there you go. Uh, let's put a space. So what this will do is it'll print hello world in the top left corner of the screen. And return for the end of our program. I think you can do an interrupt uh, 21, I think it is, to terminate the program. I've always done return, but there might be a proper, more proper way to do it. But anyway, we'll save this as... We'll just call it hello.asm. 
the way I know it's an assembly file. Exit. And then compile it. Um, I don't think the file name is case sensitive, but your operators are, your, are. So like we want to put an output. So if you do a capital O there, it won't like that at all. So we'll just call it hello.com and it compiled just fine. Uh, let's CLS because it'll scroll down one. If we type hello, there you go. You got hello world right there in the top left corner of the screen. Um, let's look at debug real quick. And this will give you a better idea of the op codes. Um, unassemble it. You can see byte pointer, byte pointer. Uh, so basically the same thing we see, but you can see how many bytes it takes there on the, uh, each command there. It's, it's a few, um, so there's, there's quicker and simpler ways, but um, let's do RCX. This thing is 56 bytes long. Seems a little bit long for me, for a hello world in assembly, but it gives you an idea. So um, let's try a different way here real quick. So let's just go edit. Go hello. We'll open it. And this time we'll no, let's just highlight it all and delete it that way. It'd be quicker. So we can do some labels. And we'll do... Uh, message and here we'll put in low world and you can do a dot like end or sometimes if you want to just keep it really clean or easy to non-confusing for yourself you can just type another label in there so what this will do is it'll give us the memory address of that label when we need it. So for example, here we'll just go oh, and we need our count register to be equal to, and they'll do the math for us, um, end, because it's the greater value. You could just count the letters and put the value in there. And, but this way you can change your message and uh, you don't have to recount it, just do it for you every time. Um, so you need a, maybe you need a space. I don't think the space will work. Hopefully let's compile it. We don't uh, mess up the video. So that'll give us the, the number of the length of the message. And let's go ahead and let's go back to our explanation mark. And now, simple enough, you can go. So we've got our data segment corrected and we need, let's do our extra segment now, because we have to grab those characters. So we'll go AX, um, let's just grab the code segment, and uh, we'll make sure, uh, generally I think that when DOS uh, does this, the extra segment will automatically be the code segment. Uh, you can't go segment to segment, so you have to go AX in between the segments. So now we've got our segment register, our extra segment register there set to the same. And you can do this a few different ways, but we'll go, um, actually, the way we're going to do this, we don't need, we don't need this line here. Because, and so we could use our data segment, let's do that. That way we don't have to do a segment override. Um, and we're going to do, we're going to grab, uh, we're going to make AH E. And we want a low. We're, we're going to put in some other lines, but we're going to call it BX. And we will make BX. to the message. And so here you want to get the address number for the message. And down here, you want to get the value at that address. So use the brackets for the pointer. And underneath here, we will call an interrupt. Um, 
Uh, they're just simple BIOS interrupts. So the 0E is your is teletype out. And uh, so whatever's in AL will teletype out. And then uh, we'll call this, this, call it a loop. And down here, we will loop. You can't call your loops loop because loop is a command of its own. So loop to the message loop, and it's going to do it that many times. It could probably take that 0e out. I'm pretty sure it stores that value in the interrupt, but let's just leave it in there. i um, going to add bx. Actually, because it, it's different here, we can go increment bx. So it'll add one to bx, reloop, and uh, continue until the end there. So now we need to put our return here. So our last program was 56 bytes. Let's see how short we can make this one. Make, let's see if we can take out any extra lines of code. All right, uh, save. Let's see if this compiles. Let's double check real quick, make sure we kind of got everything. I think we might need to make this a byte. Well, it's going into a byte, so it knows by default, so we don't need to put the byte prefix there. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and compile it now and see if that works. I have the mouse, but anyway. Let's go out, hello.com, and it worked. And now, so that didn't work, but you can see it printed a string of characters right there. Um, but it's after the uh, command prompt there, so we don't have it in the top corner of the screen anymore. So let's let's see if we can figure out what went wrong. So we've got our message in there. We need to put in org 100 because this doesn't know that com files start at 100. The assembler doesn't know that. So it probably started at zero. Let, let's give that a try. I'm pretty sure that's the issue. Let's just exit, I'll save, and then NASM, hello. It's just capital because I forgot to take caps off. But that, that O has got to be lowercase no matter what you do, or it, it doesn't do your output right. All right, and we'll do hello. There you go, hello world. So that org is important, so um, let's just go back to the code, review it, and we'll uh, clean it or end the video. So hello dot, oh, let's, uh, let's do debug hello.com, and let's do rcx. Now we're 23 bytes compared to our 56, so right there, it's that much smaller. And that's the, that's the beauty of assembly, is how small you can make your programs. Um, So this is a pretty simple program for putting a message. Um, so CPU 8086, you could probably leave that off because everything in here is 16-bit code, but that kind of guarantees, I think it'll give you an assembler error if you put in some 32-bit code. Org is 100 for your COM file, and then CX is how many times you want to loop. Um, grab the code segment, make sure it's the data segment. Uh, that's probably by default the data segment, so that line could maybe be gone, but. The one thing I've learned with assembly is never assume the value of any register unless you, you've set it yourself. Um, we could probably move this AH up here, which would give you a little bit faster processing time, but we're already really fast. Um, so loop here and then return and you're good to go. The only thing you could do differently is um, you could maybe uh, store your registers for your loop to make your loop cleaner. Uh, is, but that's only like if you're working on as functions. It's good that when you have a function, uh, a label that, that becomes a function, that uh, you store your register values and restore them when it returns so that you never have that issue of the values being off. But that, that's a whole other subject. So anyway, uh, thanks for uh, 
watching the video to the end, if you made it this far, uh, please uh, like, subscribe to the channel. Uh, it definitely helps with YouTube. Um, catch you on the next video. Thanks.